Hi Pisces, and this is a general reading that could benefit any sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. And so hopefully something will resonate here with you, but we can look to the cards to get a sense of the energies and insights and messages from divine source or the universe for Pisces. Okay, so for the awareness of the week, we have two court cards. We have the King of Wands. Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This wand energy of fire, ambition, power, doing things that excite you, being involved. So the King of Wands is the master of this suit, and he is confident, he's charismatic, very, very capable, able to be successful, for things that he truly enjoys doing. He may be excited by the business world. He may be, whoops, excited to travel. Uh, the King of Wands is a indication for you to use your personal power, use your personal gifts to grow and to bring into your life, you know, activities and pursuits that are meaningful, that you feel passionate about, which you know, you maybe have held deep inside, well, it's time to, to make a plan in order to pursue them. So this uh, energy of the, of the King of Wands can be ambitious, can be driven, focused on uh, finding the enjoyment in what life is all about. So with this sense of this attributes, and again, Court cards can represent energies for you or somebody like this, a strong presence within your life. We also have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is uh, this wonderful uh, water sign of emotions, of going with the flow here. She is... Uh, the master of unconditional love. And so as a result of that, she would be a friend or someone who would be a wonderfully supportive friend, someone who listens really well, someone who would understand you emotionally. She also is intuitively right there and can appreciate where people are coming from. And you know, in this time and age, that's a, that's a nice gift to have. So whether this is you and you're being a supportive friend or you're being loving and kind and sympathetic and empathetic to those that you care about, or you're the ben you benefit from this type of energy, she's here to uh, tell us to pay attention to emotions, to be real with our emotions, to express our emotions, to show people how we feel and to care. Interesting, they're both, she's looking at her cup, he's looking off this way. Let's see what we have for guidance. So in terms of guidance, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant's a major arcana card. The Hierophant, as you can see, has, he's holding his, uh, whatever that is, I don't remember at the top of my head, and we have the somewhat of a blessing. We have disciples here watching and listening. So the Hierophant represents the traditions and the conventions that we live with in society. Religion, education, certain professions, certain expectations. It's really the dogma of the group think, you know, the collective, what's best for the collective. So with the Hierophant, you may be focused on trying to fit in with a group, with a certain group. You may be listening to the experts tell you certain uh, strategies, perhaps, or certain ways to live. Maybe you're, maybe you're having difficulty. You know, the shadow side would be having difficulty fitting in. 
but the hierophant can go to the, the institution of marriage, uh, engagements, and, and graduating from a university. It could be our professors, could be clergymen, could be government leaders. The hierophant is about the ideas and the practices of the collective good. So this hierophant may say, work hard, put your head down, and, and good things will come. Sacrifice, do what you need to do in order to reach your goals. So with this hierophant, paying attention to tradition, paying attention this week to conventions and your place with respect to conventions and traditions. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is a gift or blessing from the universe as if the universe has a direct message to you, which is prosperity and abundance can be yours. Take this opportunity, take the time to be practical, to be um, working hard, to have a plan, to nurture your plan, to plant the seeds and take care of them. And then you will find abundance. You will be having not only material abundance, but spiritual as well. This is a card of good fortune. This really is the potential for great happiness, good health, good relationships, things working out for you. But it's a underlying message to pay attention to the suit of the pentacles, which is slow moving, careful study, um, making progress, not looking for a quick result, not looking for the fast way to make abundance, but putting in the time and energy and the devotion into doing so. On a literal basis, this could, this could be found money, unexpected money coming your way at any level. It could be a dollar, it could be more than that, but there, that's, that possibility exists. In terms of possible outcomes... So we have the moon and we have the six of pentacles. So the moon, you know, the moon's always an interesting card because while the moon is very powerful and exciting and romantic to look at the moon, to gaze at the moon, to take pictures of the moon, there is this sense that maybe there's an uncertainty or that you're feeling uh, that you need to take extra care in the path that you're taking and that uh, you may feel anxious about it. You may feel maybe this uncertainty may lead to some doubt or fear. And you know, the moon can provide us, what we think we're moving in one direction, but maybe we're not seeing things as they really are. Many folks say the moon's about the, having secrets. And so for some of you that may resonate, but really I think that it's, it's the uncertainty of the path. It's either having doubt or fear or anxiety. And um, you have to dig deep within your own subconscious. The moon is also a card to pay attention to your psychic self and to listen to the guides and to listen to your dreams. And the moon very, may very well be a recommendation or an encouragement to sort things out. You're going to have to sort things out to move forward along your path. And sorting things out may involve counsel from someone like a King of Wands, from someone like a Queen of Cups, support from a Hierophant type of figure within your life. Here's the Six of Pentacles. This is a card of duality. It's a card of giving and receiving. That when you're in a position to give, go ahead and give. When you need support, you have to ask for it. You have to be ready to receive it. There's no harm in receiving it. Everybody needs a hand here and there. And so here we have these very strong figures who I think are ready to help who are ready to give counsel and to help you find a little more certainty on your path. Here's the end goal, prosperity, abundance, and happiness. The little nudge from the universe, which is saying, be practical, be smart, 
put in the time, put in the effort. Interesting. Let's see what the Oracle cards have for additional messages for you. And this card I like to think of as an affirmation for the week. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. Such a wonderful message, such a powerful message that when you do travel lightly, you gain a sense of freedom because it makes you portable. You're not stuck. You're not trapped by possessions. You are not trapped by the mortgage. If you can create a more simple life, live simply, uh, you know, clean out the clutter, sell it, get rid of it, donate it, recycle, reuse, whatever it is. And that lightness can go to improving your energy and the energy to, uh, you know, live your passions, do things that you love doing. So now I'd like to choose a card. I'm going to consider this a healing card, a card of healing. I think that it's, uh, I think it's appropriate. Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So don't let your brilliant ideas, uh, you know, drop below the surface. Keep them in your heart. Keep them in a journal. Keep them on the refrigerator on a sticky note. And take a small step into bringing it out, into making it real. You know, I would say the King of Wands, accessing your personal power, taking action, doing things. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love, and we will see what we have for love. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. So I think that's a nice uh, compliment to the healing card, which is, you know, rest and relaxation is essential. It's to put yourself in your best position possible, is to take time out from work, take time out from drama, and give yourself the gift of rest and relaxation. It's this form of self-support, honestly. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share this video, and comment. And I wish you a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.